Welcome to ECTE Laboratory. In this video, I am going to show you how to design full ladder Android VHDL module for full ladder using model SIM. A full ladder is a combinational circuit that forms the arithmetic sum of three input bits. Beside the three input bits, it has two outputs. Two of the inputs variable denoted by A and B represent the two significant bit to be added. The third input T in represent the carry from the previous lower significant position. Two outputs are necessary because the arithmetic function of the three bit range in the value of 0 to 3 and binary 2 and 3 need two digits for their representation. Again, the two outputs are designated by the symbol S for sum and the C for carry. The binary variable S gives the value of the bit of the sum and the binary variable C gives the output carry. The truth table of the full ladder is listed. The value for the output are determined from the arithmetic sum of three input bits. When all the inputs are zero, the output are zero. The S output is equal to one when only one input is equal to one or when all three inputs are equal to one. The C output is carry of one. If two or three inputs are equal to one, K method can be used for simplification figure shows the k map for the s output this map has no adjacent one and s zero so there are no pairs of quads to loop thus the expression for s cannot be simplified using the k map this point out the limitation of the k map method as compared with the algebraic method and we are able to simplify the expression for s through factoring and the use of xor and xnor operation the k map for the c out output Output is shown in figure. The three pairs that are looped will produce the same expression obtained from the algebraic method. Now I am going to implement full ladder in VHDL using model sim. For implementation, now I am going to our model sim software. For model sim, double click on model sim shortcut. After opening the model sim, goes to file, file to new new to project press yes name i type the project name is full ladder press ok create new file so file name i type f a double d add file type as vhdl Press OK. Close. Here our VHDL file is created. Dot VHD and type VHDL. Right click here. Press edit. This is our red edit window. For the sake of time save, I already type HDL module for full adder in notepad. So here is our full ladder VHDL module. Select, right click and copy. Comes to edit window of model sim. Right click here and press paste. So you can see our VHDL module. So first line is Library I triple E then use I triple E dot STD standard logic double one six four dot R entity full ladder structure VHDL is port X one X two and C in is standard logic input I N input standard logic s and c out is output standard logic so close this entity by ending full ladder structure vhdl then architecture structure of full adder vhdl is so this is the architecture of this entity we signal a1 a2 a3 as standard logic being a1 is equal to 
x1 xor x2 a2 is equal to x1 and x2 a3 is equal to a1 and c in c out is equal to a2 or a3 and s output is equal to a1 xor c in and the last and our structure press enter so i write my code now it goes to save then right click here for compile compile to selected so you can see compile of f a double d dot v h d was successful and here green tick on status so our VHDL code is correct now for simulation goes to simulate start simulating and work work could double click on goes to add add to wave all in region press So this is our values x1, x2 and c in our inputs, s and c out our outputs. Layout to simulate, press run button to see our wave diagram, right click here post and value of x1 is 0 press ok and then run you can change in values you can see the change in values we put x1 is 0 and a1 a2 convert to 0 now change x2 to goes to force value 1 press ok now run and you can see this values come to 1 change in this value and a1 is goes to 1 now you can also change the C in value of C in by right clicking first press 1 here press ok and run so you can see the change in the values of C out and S is equal to 0 so every time when I press run button 100 nanosecond wave comes so now I am going to change the value of x1 force now I am close to 1 that's ok and run so you can change you can you can see the change in the values of full ladder so x1 is 1, x2 is 1, c in 1 and s is equal to 1 and c out is, is equal to 1. So now I change the value of x2 from 1 to 0, press ok and press run button. So you can saw the change in values of outputs, s goes to 0 carry out one now i am signing out by promising to meet you again very soon with another video till then if you are watching on youtube please do not forget to hit like button and share my video thank you